Yo, 35 meterless. As you can see on the screen right now, there are only 25 characters on the roster. In today's video, we're going to be exploring Mortal Kombat 11 before there was any updates. No day one patch, no buffs and nerfs over the last two years, absolutely no changes. This is how the game came out on the disc before any updates at all. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's check out Mortal Kombat 11 with no updates. There's so many characters that I don't remember what they were like before the update came out, so I'm just going to random select and go from there. Devora? Oh, okay. This is my day one main right here in MK11. So one thing I remember about Devora in this version was she was so much faster. Like, look how fast this is. 10 frames. This was very fast, 17 frames. And it was only minus 7, so it's completely safe. Like, she was just such a fast character in comparison to now. Also, her overhead was so fast. Look at this, 13 frames. Look at it. <laughs> look how fast that is, man. And it's only minus 8, so it's like almost not punishable at some ranges. Like, it would be really hard to punish sometimes. Absolutely crazy. Okay, I'll try a few of the combos. I think they're all pretty much the same, though. Oh, the teleport is so slow. That doesn't even combo. Okay, this combos, I still think. Yeah, that still combos. I think you can still do the exact same combo. Yep. I don't think the damage really changed much either. Okay, so that also works. Alright, let's do another random select. See who we get this time. Scorpion? I feel like he didn't even change at all. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, one thing I know for sure that's very slow in this version. Yeah. <laughs> Look how slow this is, bro. Compared to now, that literally looks like it's in slow motion. Oh my gosh. Hmm, 28%? I feel like that's pretty low. Also, I was just looking at his frame data and like literally everything is punishable. Like all of his main strings that he uses now are punishable. Like look at this. This is punishable. Watch this. Like what? All of his best strings are punishable in this version of the game. Now this was actually in the game later on for a while, but it did get removed. But I thought I'd just show it anyway. 7 frame demon dash. This thing was actually so crazy. Like I'll show you some examples of how good it was. Okay, so check this out. Punish. That's minus 7. If I try and punish it with the normal, I'm not going to get a punish because it's too slow. But reversal. Reversal punish. Demon dash. 7 frames. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. Okay, I'm not going to do random select this time. I remember what Liu Kang was like, so I'm going to check him out because he was pretty scary from memory. Okay, look, I could be totally off here, but I'm going to say before I even try it, I'm pretty sure his fireballs were like insanely fast from my memory. Let's see. Oh, God. Wait, let me see the low one. The low one was really fast, too. Oh. Dude, look how fast they are. What? Dude, I remember playing against this, actually. It was so cheap. Okay, not only that, his forward four was nine frames. Like, I can tell right now. Look how fast this is. Like, nine frame mid. Crushing blow on both throws, by the way. You know, while we're here, we might as well check out Sonya. I remember what Sonya was like, and she's absolutely crazy. Or a lot better, at least. She had so much better damage, so the risk reward for her was always really, really good, even mid screen. So, probably the biggest change for Sonya is that this doesn't launch anymore in the real game. So, I'll show you what you used to be able to do if it did launch. <laughs> Obviously, that was probably not even optimal, but just to give you an idea, that's some stuff you could do with it. If you combine that with the low in the corner, you could get some really, really strong damage. Okay, so 41% from the overhead in the corner. <laughs> I mean, the damage is still pretty similar to what you can get now, but the overhead does way more damage, and the combo routes are just way, way better as well. Alright, we're going to check out Garrus. I know he has changed quite a bit since launch of the game, so going to check him out right now. Bro, what? I just crashed the game. <laughs> what? Alright, first thing I want to see is this 4 2 1 still a combo into Sand Trap. <laughs> yeah, I used to love doing this, man. Look at the damage just from that. That was almost 25% just from that. Also, back in this version, he actually had the real 50 50 from this. And if you got hit by the overhead, 33%, <laughs> bro. That was actually a true 50 50 as well between this and the Sand Trap. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. That was absolutely crazy that he had this. Also, this string has no gap, by the way, in this version. Look how fast it is. 
And it was only minus three, so you could always just like down one after it. it happened so often. The mind game was so annoying. <laughs> yeah, Garrus was pretty crazy back then. We're gonna swap right over to Aaron Black though, another crazy character in this version. Just to give you an idea of how good this was, like you couldn't even punish this. In the version of the game now, you can always punish this. And you have to meet about it to be safe, but like, look, there's no punish- you can't punish it. Pretty sure it's minus seven, so Garrus can probably like down one, but even that, I'm trying, it's really, really hard. There we go. But like, I can't get a full combo like I can now in the in the other version of the game. Another example, back to two scud, it literally cannot be punished, even by down one. I'm trying my hardest, it literally won't get punished. <laughs> Also, on top of that, Dropkick Meteor Band was a legit guess. You couldn't jump out of it like you can now. So, the risk reward on this was just so annoying. Like, and he was just always making you guess from it as well. He also had this corner combo, but you can't do it in the version of the game that's playing right now. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore because Scut Shot's way too slow now. But, it was pretty cool to be able to do that back in the... Okay, I really want to try Baraka, and I'm also going to try Cassie. I don't have any idea what these characters were like before. I remember Baraka a little bit, but I don't remember Cassie at all, so... Gonna see what we can find. Damn! I don't know if that's a standard Baraka, I honestly don't remember, but... Someone let me know. Alright guys, I found something actually crazy with Cassie, check this out. Yo, meterless? You don't even need to spend meter. You can't even spend meter on this move. Yo, 35 meterless? Off of a 9 frame mid. This was 9 frames, by the way. Yo, 37% one bar Cassie. Dude, if she could do this now, she'd be so, so strong. Also, just a quick reminder that this had no gap and it was zero on block. <laughs> that was so cheap, bro. I think someone told me recently that Microburst launches them full screen. So I, I just want to see what that looks like. Whoa. Bro, what else can you get from this? Just this? That's the combo? <laughs> Damn, Frost low tier in this version. I feel like I feel like Kung Lao's the exact same. I have no idea, but I feel like he's the exact same. Okay, never mind, I lied. He's got plus frames on this. This is plus two on block. What? No thanks. Why did they put this in plus two? Well, they got rid of it, so. I mean, it was obviously not meant to stay like this, which it didn't, thank God. That would be so cheap right now. Uh, guys, why is spin minus one? What? Minus one? What? 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 Are you serious? Nah, this is sus. Minus one? What? Does it launch? Nah, what? Minus one launcher? Dude, that's so cheap. What the? Okay, well that was Kung Lao. I already remember a lot of what Johnny was like. He did have a lot of hitbox issues, like for example this. With whiff on females. So that was really annoying for him. I will say though, Johnny had a lot of plus frames. Like this was plus six. These were plus three. This was also plus six. Like, so he could just have so much pressure like this if he didn't whiff. Plus six. Plus six. Down four if you want to. Get back in there. Get your meter back. Plus three. You get the idea. Like, it was absolutely crazy he could do that. He was a pressure machine, but sometimes the force was whiff, so it made it a little bit hard. Definitely was a lot of fun exploring the oldest version of the game that I can possibly play. I didn't cover every single character today, but I did do quite a few of them. Again, I don't remember a lot of the changes and a lot of the stuff that was in this version. So if you guys remember some broken stuff, drop a comment below and let me know what was the most broken thing you can remember from MK11. If you guys want me to make a part two of this video, just drop a comment below and saying we want a part two or something like that. And I'll get to it really, really soon. Anyway, guys, this was a lot of fun to make. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys.